Systemic lupus erythematosus, or lupus, is sometimes called the chameleon of conditions, as it often masquerades as other diseases and can be hard to diagnose. Hi, I'm Karen Kostenbader. I'm a rheumatologist and director of the lupus program at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. Lupus is a complex, multi-system autoimmune disease. Nine out of 10 cases occur in females, but it can occur in males as well. The peak age at onset is between ages 15 and 45, but again, it can occur any time along the age spectrum. Lupus can affect many different body systems, including your brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, skin, joints, and blood. Like many autoimmune diseases, lupus doesn't have one specific cause. It's caused by a combination of both genetic and environmental factors, which include lifestyle and behavioral factors. While there are thousands of potential symptoms of lupus, they can be grouped into two big categories, the nonspecific symptoms and the specific symptoms. Nonspecific symptoms are things that can happen in a virus as well, such as fever, fatigue, feeling run down, weight loss, joint and muscle pain. Specific symptoms of lupus include specific types of rashes, as well as specific types of inflammation in the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, joints, skin, or blood vessels. Generally, we start almost everyone with lupus or even thought to have lupus on an anti-malarial medication called hydroxychloroquine. While this isn't the strongest medication for lupus, it's disease stabilizing and avoids flares of lupus. We also use medications called steroid sparing medications more and more now. We're really trying to get away from using steroids and these are long-term medications that patients can take to keep their disease in remission. Lupus comes and goes in periods of flare-ups and remission, so it's important to know what may lead to a flare in your lupus. For example, some people have photosensitivity, which means after they've been in the sun, they'll have a flare of their disease with worse symptoms and disease activity. So for these people, we really counsel them to wear sunscreen, sun protective clothing, and stay out of the sun. Our goal isn't just to find the right treatment for the right patient, but actually to hit the bullseye of remission and keep the disease from heating up or flaring up over time. The good news is that lupus treatments are fast evolving. We've had new treatments, FDA approved just in the past two years, and more are on the horizon. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Karen Kostenbader. For more videos on autoimmune diseases, click here. And don't forget to subscribe below.